We'll do it the other way. The other side. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll vlog from here, I think. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to say. Really? Really? Okay, um, this is Explain Dedicated. We're at Nash Point BRP. Nash Point BRP is the lighthouse here and also the fog on behind me. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in South Wales, it's a bit windy, I've got uh, a couple of guys with me, I've got Matt with me and I've got Andy with me, uh, who both fly on uh, flight simulators, what have you. Uh, this morning I looked on um, the xplane.org and there's lots of interesting stuff which I'm going to have to get back to, because, unfortunately, I left my script at home. Anyway, we're in beautiful South Wales and I wanted to film this because it's, <laughs> and it's windy, it's blowing me away! <laughs> really windy but it's so beautiful out here with the lighthouse and the fog on but I'll see you in a, I'll see you in a little while after the trailer Double November 180 Bravo Bravo with it November 180 Bravo Bravo good afternoon to you report your altitude uh, 2000 feet on 1014 Bravo 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 uh, let's go amend the rest. Okay, um, explain dedicated. We've moved to Cardiff Bay now, and uh, we just look behind me. There's the guys, they're just wandering off. Uh, we've moved it down into Cardiff Bay, and we're going to go to the Doctor Who experience. If you just look behind me, you can see Cardiff Dock, and just over there, over my shoulder, is the BBC Village. We're going to go to the Doctor Who experience. This is nothing to do with X-Plane. You need to know this is nothing to do with X-Plane. This is just us having fun. See you soon. So the sun has come out now, as you can see. In a matter of seconds, the sun comes out. We're by the Norwegian church. Just let me turn. There's the Norwegian church behind me. Uh, it's a very famous church here in Cardiff. Once again, this is nothing to do with X-Plane, but it will be later. Got a couple of guys here on bikes. You want to be on my vlog, YouTube? Okay, do some tricks for us. Come on, do some tricks. You want to be on YouTube? Oh, awesome, awesome. Look at that, eh? Nothing to do with x -Plane. We'll see you soon. Everywhere we've been today, we've just walked. We've walked miles and miles. Let me turn around. And now you can see it. The Doctor Who experience. This is going to be awesome, guys. Nothing to do with X Plane. We get back to that later. There we are, guys. There's a TARDIS. Famous TARDIS over Cardiff Bay. Well, big disaster, guys. The Doctor Who experience is closed on a Tuesday. What day is it today? Tuesday. Major, major disaster. We're not happy. We're going to have to find some planes or something. Can't believe it. Absolutely gutted. I, I'm, I'm just... I'm staggered. Apparently they've had Americans, Australians, New Zealanders and everybody turn up here. Because everybody's here for the rugby here in Wales. Nothing to do with this plane, but we'll get back to that. Okay, as I promised, I said I'd get back to X-Plane, didn't I? It's been a busy couple of days with Andy and Matt being here. Um, obviously, Matt coming down from Walsall and Andy coming from Birmingham. Um, but I'm back in the office. I'm back in the study here. And as I promised, I said I would actually do some X-Plane stuff. So, uh, one of the first things I want to talk about is really X-Plane 1040 Release Candidate 3. Um, we're getting closer and closer to releasing uh, X-Plane 1040, but it has had some problems. Uh, we had, I think we had Release Candidate 1, and that seems to be okay. Release Candidate 2 was a disaster, and apparently uh, a number of things didn't work. I'm saying apparently, I know this because I've got it on my machine on another drive. Um, release Candidate 2... Uh, wasn't working. There's a couple of things broken, specifically x -Squart box and a number of um, add-on aircraft. Anyway, Release Candidate 3 has come out and once again it is still a beta so if you if you don't like having betas because they might break and they might not work then don't bother with it. Just don't put the, the beta on or don't use the beta as your main flight simulation 
uh, product. Um, put it on a spare drive and then you can play with it, you can test it. But your stable uh, X-Plane 1036, that's the one that you use, okay, so for flying and everything else. But we're getting close, and we must be getting close because the release candidate has now gone on to Steam. So we must be getting close to release, okay? So keep your eyes out. By all means, download it, but download it to a separate drive. Do not use it as your main simulator because if it's broken and you can't fly, you'll be really upset because you'll have broken your main installation. Always have two copies, stable one and a beta one somewhere else, okay? So that's x Plane 1036. Uh, sorry, 1040, release candidate 3. I think, if you want my advice, for what it's worth, I think it'll be a full release on the weekend of RAF Cosford, which is the, sec is the 3rd of October. It's only a few days away, in fact, okay? Um, and whilst we're talking about Cosford, I'll be there. I know that a few of the people are coming, uh, so I'll see you soon, all right? So um, a nice little airport that's just been released is... ENMS, Echo November Mike Sierra, which is a lovely little regional airport in Norway. It is only a small airport and it's only a few kilobits of download, but it is absolutely lovely. It is a really, really nice little regional airport. You're, nothing, you're not going to get anything bigger than a, an ATR in there, believe me. So don't even bother thinking of 737s or anything like that. It's a small regional airport. You get an ATR in, or maybe even if you're lucky, you might get a, an RJ. 85, an RJ100 in with those fantastic air brakes, but I, I doubt that. ATRs, it's a lovely little airport, it's right by a fjord, it's not that big, and so it looks really, really pretty. Uh, I really like it. I suggest you download that, and of course, as always, with all of, our, all of the software that I mentioned, you get that from xplane.org. As we come into the final part of this video, and I know it's been a weird vlog today, um, Newcastle, Echo Golf November Tango. Uh, this has been produced by TDG, and TDG is getting better and better at making airports since he first started. He has he's done a lot of airports and he releases them really quick, but his his skill is getting better and better. And he, this is Newcastle 2.0, so it's a new release. The there are a large number of libraries used, but he's put a link in to all the libraries that are used. Um, but he's got HDR lighting in there, he's got some dynamic objects that actually move, etc, uh, etc. Et um, there's a static aircraft, I hope it's a static aircraft, uh, an EasyJet aircraft that he's put in, and he's got 3D people as, as if they're boarding. And I don't know whether they're animated or whether they're just static, I'm not sure about that. He's got uh, animated um, jetways, of course, uh, using the marginal uh, jetway plugin. He's put all the descriptions in the link on uh, the org, so you can download it from there. Uh, it's really, really good. And at one time, I, I TGD, TDG used to knock out airports left, right, and centre, and he wouldn't have enough stands in there, or he'd only have like three stands, and they'd be, they, they would be misplaced, and I ended up having to fix them myself. For if I wanted to use them, but it looks as though he's got his act together and it looks really, really neat. So I'm happy about that. Um, what I do want, I want some comments, please, because uh, I've decided to do the video on the phone today. So all of the video for today's vlog is done on the phone. I haven't used the webcams because I think the quality might be a little bit better. If you think it's better, what I'll do is I'll get myself a, a little desk um, tripod just for the phone. At the moment I'm using, I'm using the selfie stick, I'm holding the selfie stick so it might be wavering around a little bit, but I'm using the selfie stick. Uh, but the quality is so much better I think. What I'm looking at is so much better. But leave comments and let me know what you think of this video, the quality of this video, okay? And uh, I'm sorry about all the, the, the stuff at the beginning of the video, but uh, I thought I'd do something different. This is Wycliffe Barrett, X-Plane dedicated. If you're going to Cosford, I'll see you soon. Bye.